we are talking to Ron Levine, Associate Vice President of Product Marketing at ECI Telecom. And we would like to hear what he has to say about new trends in next generation voice networks. Several operators worldwide have stated their intentions or have already started to migrate to next generation voice. Can you give us an overview of what next generation voice is and why operators are so keen on migration? Sure. Next Generation Voice refers to the migration of voice services from legacy PSTN-based networks to IP-based networks. Now, in Access Networks, there are two flavors of uh, voice over IP. The first one is voice over broadband, and the second is PSTN Class 5 replacement. In voice over broadband, the voice over IP is generated in the subscriber's home using an IP phone or a soft phone and the network treats the, treats the service as a data service with the required quality of service parameters. In PSTN Class 5 replacement, uh, the, the customer or the user continue to, continues to use the regular analog phone or other analog devices in the home such as faxes or modems and the voice over IP is generated in the access node. Operators are migrating to next generation voice networks for several reasons. First, Competition from mobile operators as well as competitive service providers is on the rise. To compete effectively, operators must streamline their operations and consolidate all of their services over a single service delivery network instead of maintaining separate networks such as PSTN, broadband and other types of networks. The second driver for migration to next generation voice networks is that PSTN networks are becoming obsolete and very costly to maintain. Considering the huge physical footprint of these legacy systems and the associated operational expenses around power consumption and real estate taxes, the migration approach becomes preferable when taking into account the same parameters on state-of-the-art next-generation network equipment. Furthermore, migration assists in streamlining the service provider organization required to maintain the network. Thirdly, operators are looking to increase revenues by introducing more services and doing so more rapidly and frequently. The best way to achieve that is by incorporating next generation network elements such as IMS uh, service delivery architecture along with next generation networks. There are several approaches to a next generation voice solution. Can you briefly describe them and introduce ECI's approach? Sure. When considering next generation voice networks, one of the first questions operators ask themselves is whether to go for a single end-to-end -end one vendor solution or with a best of breed approach with different elements from different vendors. Now our experience shows that the operator's familiarity with legacy PSTN uh, networks uh, causes them to view a single source solution as a high risk, uh, as a high risk solution. Typically what they will do then is they will choose a single vendor strategically for, the so for their soft switch and their next generation network core and then mitigate the risk by uh, choosing multi-vendor solutions for their access network. Another difference in approaches is the choice of the solution flavor. Operators need to make a choice between a voice over broadband based solution and a PSTN class 5 replacement based solution. Now our experience shows again that a voice over broadband fits, in, fits better in some situations while PSTN class 5 replacement fits better in others. So what we're seeing operators do is choose the optimal path and using a mix of the two in different situations. ECI has adopted the best of breed approach using the HiFocus MSAN as an open standards based true MSAN supporting both voice over broadband and PSTN class 5 replacement. As one of the pillars of ECI's OneNet framework, the HiFocus MSAN supports any technology with any solution mix on a single MSAN platform. The HiFocus MSAN is a pure IP-based next-generation network element built from the ground up to support next-generation networks with full support for all IMS services while not carrying the past burdens of legacy PSTN networks. You mentioned IMS architecture earlier which is a major building block for next generation voice. In your opinion, what are the essential success factors for a next generation voice solution? Well, in this new era of next generation networks, the name of the game is profitability. And profitability has two sides to it. The first is lower total cost of ownership, and the second is new revenue generation. The migration to next generation voice reduces total cost of network ownership and allows operators to compete by consolidating all of the services over a single service delivery network. This allows them to reduce the total uh, real estate taken up by their network as well as the cost of maintenance 
the size of the organization, the uh, training cost for their personnel, the spare parts inventory, as well as other factors. Deploying an IMS architecture enables new revenue generation by providing a single architecture for rapid and frequent service deployment. ECI's high-focus MSAN further reduces total cost of ownership by supporting copper, fiber, and next-generation voice functionality, all on the same access node. It enables new revenue generation potential by supporting IMS elements on the access node. Well, thank you very much, Ron, for your insights on next-generation voice networks. Thank you.